this is by far the best indie game ever created. So fuck Danny and everyone else. Let's take a look at this realistic horror game called Eel, which is built in Unreal Engine. As you can see, I mean, how else would you build a game like this except in Unreal Engine? And me personally, I am a horror games fan. I could play horror games all day long, which I do most of the times. Well, not. Now I don't, but I I have played them a lot and I play them from time to time right now, which are the genre that I enjoy the most. And especially I love or enjoy playing them at night because, you know, that's when you get scared the most. That's when I have diapers and stuff, you know, for obvious reasons. Especially if you see things like, look at this. I mean, this looks insane. Like the characters or the enemies, how they are created with gore like faces and don't get me wrong I'm not some kind of kidnapper that will you know torture and stuff like that in a game I will but you know in real life no but I really love this it's very creative it's I don't know I have no words for this project I mean this I believe was their first let's say teaser trailer about the game let's take a look at other videos that they have which are insane this one in particular I believe yeah look at this this is what I enjoy. I mean, I think this is too much blood. I don't know. At least for me, it looks like it. I, I don't think we have this, you know, many whatever of blood in ourselves. But still, it looks insane. And this is what I love. I mean, this is so creative, even though it looks sick. And maybe it sounds sick, me saying it. But this truly is creative. This is, you know, the definition of creativity. You can watch this and be amazed every single time. Let's take a look at other videos that they have. Now, this gameplay is also nice. From this gameplay, I understand that there are some parasites that basically make people like this, which, you know, it's not some sort of virus, classic zombie games and stuff like that. You see, this, this is the parasite, this eel or... Yeah, that's the name of the game, Eel. <laughs> I call it Eel because I do believe this is how you pronounce it. I want to see every single part of this. Now imagine seeing this in real life. Playing this game at, I don't know, 3 a.m. You know those 3 a.m. videos? I can already see those YouTubers be like, don't pray, play Eel at 3 a.m. And you know, some kind of weird mask they are going to find and make this type of person come at their door. This looks really realistic. This looks like, you know, th this guy is stung by a bee and he has some sort of reaction to it. But, you know, overall, I don't know, man. For me personally, I did not see a better indie project than this one. And you can support these creators. They have a Patreon. I'll probably link it down below because this stuff is insane. I, I really hope to live and see this game being being created and look at this. I don't want it to be censored, man I want to see the crazy stuff That's why I'm going to support and buy this game because I want to see the crazy stuff I don't want to I don't want them to be censored and whatnot Look at this. It's titled alive, which is this parasite as you can see Look at this man. Look at the head. Man, this looks insane. This truly looks insane. I have no words for this game except for, you know, it's crazy. This is the scene that we saw and this is like a close up how they did it. This is only pure animation stuff, which look at this hand, how it is, you know, how they are simulating this. It looks hyper ultra realistic. I mean, I can just imagine how scary this will look like when I play it at 3 a.m., you know. <laughs> I'm probably going to, you know, spend all of my daughter's diapers on me. But we'll see. We will see. I will try to be, you know, I will try to be strong. But anyways, look at this. I mean, wow. <laughs> I am truly impressed by this game. I wonder how many people did not research it in that detail to know how many people are working on this game. But... You know, how many of them, it doesn't matter. Look at this. This scene is particularly crazy. Look at this. I, I don't know. What, like, look at this creative. I mean, it cannot get more creative than this. I don't know. For me, like, and this is a breakdown video that I encourage you to watch. I will not particularly watch it because we... 
basically just saw all of this stuff but it's a breakdown slowly how they did it you can see you know in the animation in, in the animation window how they did it how it looks like as you can see you know it looks insane man it looks really insane so this is something that i encourage you to take a look their last video the team cloud this is the team only team cloud without the but anyways this is like their you know company name or whatnot and this is their last gameplay that they submitted there's also talking in this video by the way you there mike i made my way in found some sort of administrative room it's a total mess here Man, like this last video, this one that we just saw, it's also cool, but you know, the one with the monsters, I am, I don't know, I don't know what to say, like I'm truly amazed and I cannot wait to have a real footage, well not footage, but real demo that I can actually get my hands on and play and I will probably play it on the channel and comment it so that we can see it together and we can, you know, be amazed and astonished and whatnot, but definitely support these developers because this project re deserves to see the light of the day. This project deserves to come out, especially because it's an indie project and it looks crazier than any AAA game that we saw. Literally, there is no AAA horror game this caliber with this you know animations with 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 this hyper ultra realistic stuff so yeah patreon i will probably put it down below and uh yep that would be it from me i'm gonna go and you know do stuff that you don't want to know about because of this game and i'll see you guys in the next video